Welcome back everyone, here to do another reaction video, and this time another Iron Maiden uh, reaction. And they're playing at uh, Rock A Am Ring, in, I believe which, which is in Germany, uh, in 2014. And they'll be playing Seven Son of a Seven Son. Someone in the comments um, mentioned this live performance, and I have never seen it before. I've seen, uh, you know, a bunch of performances of this song, uh, but this one I definitely am excited to check out. I got my Iron Maiden Seven Son of a Seven Son T-shirt on and ready to go. So let's 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 start the video. Got Eddie there. <laughs> oh man, that setup is so cool. Bruce with the long coat on. That's not Rap Child. Come on, man. Man, they really had Rap Child there as a song. That is, those are two of the most completely different Iron Maiden songs you could ask for. One is off Killers and is more just straightforward heavy metal while this is like a progressive symphonic metal masterpiece rap is one of my favorite songs too don't get me wrong that's an amazing amazing song but that's disappointing Little guitar. When I'm broken line. Bruce still got it, man. Bruce still has still got it. Pretty weak crowd for an Iron Maiden show, which I feel like is pretty typical of, of, uh, of festival performances that they play. Because, you know, the people are there to see Iron Maiden, but a lot of them are, still, are there to see the other headliners. So they're not the biggest Iron Maiden fans, but they still respect them and appreciate it. But it's, yeah, it's kind of a weak crowd. Could be better, could be better. The... The Rock and Rio one I did last time, that that festival performance is one of their best. South American fans are typically some of the most passionate South, uh, uh, Iron Maiden fans. You can really tell. So we got Nico's kit. So I mentioned in the last video his his. Uh, snare setup and just his overall kit setup you can see his snare is very high and then it's dipped towards him and that's not that's 
I don't think that's a 70 degree angle. That's probably like a, maybe like a 50 or 60 degree angle like towards him. And then he has the toms up here. So he has like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think he just has maybe one floor tom. And then something that not a lot of drummers do is, is have the ride cymbal all the way up here. But I feel like Nico does this in order to be able to do tom accents while playing the ride. Because the, the, the ride cymbal, which is this cymbal right here, uh, is kind of in between two of those toms. So he's able to kind of play the, play the fills. And then if he wants to add, uh, add tom fills in, and then you know, also get right back into playing the pattern of the song. I've always really admired that of uh, of Nico. I've loved. I've always loved having the ride really high, and I've used that before in my in my playing uh, when I've had uh, acoustic kits. Now I have a just completely electronic kit or electronic uh, drum kit. Um, but I also see Danny Carey do this. Um, Bron Daler of Mastodon. He has it kind of similar. He's a huge uh, Nico McBrain and Iron Maiden fan. But instead of having it up here, he has it on the side, and it's a little bit lower. So he plays his ride like this, which you never see. That that is a very unique setup. That's a very cool setup. Uh, so, and I'll do. I'll be doing a Mastodon uh, reaction soon, and most likely a tool a tool reaction. So look out for that. Those thumbs manipulate to serve his power before it's too late. Boom, boom. See, actually, see what I was saying before. Nico is playing the ride, and he does the the two hits on the snare. Ba -ba, boop, boop, boop. So he does like All the Iron Maiden fans are in the front. <laughs> They're just ready to headbang to the, the song. This is a very head. This is a very headbangable song, especially in the chorus when it's just like seven son of a seven son. It's great. Wow. Oh. Bruce. Wow, man. I've never heard him sustain a note that long for this song. He held that for like 15 seconds. And then at the at the end he had that that higher inflection. Oh. Very cool. That was a, that that is that's awesome. All right, here's the breakdown. Nico's playing doubles, really fast. And he holds that for the, for the entire part of this. It's very impressive. Uh, very impressive.
when this album came out, a lot of Iron Maiden fans were questioning the direction they were going. They're adding more experimentation with synthesizers and ambience, kind of like in this section right here, which was a pretty big change from what they're doing on the on the past couple albums, which were, you know, very much heavy metal, like pure heavy metal, with a little bit of progress uh, progressiveness in there. But this one kind of took <clears throat> the progressive metal uh, thing they're going for into a new direction, um, and it caused kind of a divide with Iron Maiden fans. Some liked it and some didn't. But you know. That's part of being a fan of a band is being open to them wanting to be wanting to be different than their last album or their last albums, wanting to kind of progress and try new things and experiment. Because as a mus musician myself, I have to do that to feel like I'm exploring new territory and, and trying things I've never tried before. Uh, and I feel like this album was such a good such a good representation of that is just kind of seeing what they could do and and they really did an awesome job i love i love this song and i love this album Today is born the seventh son. <laughs> born of woman, the seventh one. And he, in turn, of the seventh son. <laughs> he has the power to heal. I guess, I guess that's their, their touring keyboard player. That is epic. He has the power to heal. He has the gift of second sight. He is the chosen one. Nico sounds like a drum machine. So it shall be written. <laughs> and so it shall be done. I love the guitars here. Dun, 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 dun. Still going, man. Still going, doing those doubles. So here, Nico's adding on every other beat the open hi hat, and then the kick on the on every other. So he's keeping that double going, those doubles going, but then kick, open hi hat, kick, open hi hat.
Well, actually, on the open eye, he's also doing a kick. It sounds absolutely incredible here. It looks like a Brave New World kit. The album cover, or the or the uh, the, the looks like the album cover is on the bass drum head. Solo. Dave Murray. This sounds like the, the actual uh, solo from the record. We're pretty close. He's actually wearing a 7 Son of a 7 Son uh, t shirt. Similar to this. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this was the tour that they played the entire Seventh Son of the Seventh Son album, you know, in its entirety. So I feel like my friend, or was that 2017? I believe that was actually 2017 or 16. This must be in another tour, but if someone knows what tour this is specifically, uh, you know, please mention it in the comments. This comes my favorite part coming up in a bit. Fireworks. Triple lead. And they all come to the front. Yeah! Yeah! So good. Wow. That was an incredible performance of that song. Pretty flawless. That was pretty, pretty flawlessly executed.
and even more they even added more to it with bruce doing that long extended um vocal expression which really impressed me i was not expecting that and then nico really really solid on that on the bridge with the with the doubles going and then keeping everyone in time and then the solos are great are great and they played my favorite part great as well i love when they when they're playing those uh either you know they're, they're all playing the lead the, the three guitarists and and the three guitarists and 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 uh steve go out to the front and they're all just like yeah to the crowd saying like yeah look how awesome we are <laughs> i love it cool well that's the video guys uh if you made it this far thank you so much for watching i know this was probably a very long video so i made a couple stops to um give my opinion but if you have any other recommendations on uh, videos for me to watch or things to react to or anything, uh, or if you have um, things I can improve on or other, um, just other opinions or comments in general, please feel free to add them and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks.